Hey guys, I'm Victoria and I'm here to talk to you all about shaving. There's no magical age when you're supposed to start shaving. Actually, it's totally up to you to decide when and even if you want to in the first place. But for you girls who want to start, I'm here to walk you through the steps on how to get a great shave. A quick recap on my first time shaving. I was on summer vacation with my family. It was the summer going into high school and I remember we were driving back from dinner and all talking about going to the beach the next day. When we got home, I was trying on all my new bikinis, deciding which one I wanted to wear, and I decided that I wanted to shave. I had no idea where to start, and I don't have an older sister, so I went to my mom for help. I was a little bit nervous asking at first, but I knew she'd have the right answers, and she didn't mind showing me actually how to do it. Luckily, my mom's a huge overpacker, and she had a ton of extra razors. So that night, she showed me how to shave, and I was able to go to the beach the next day, rocking my new bikini with confidence. So, if you're like I was and you need some guidance, I'm here to show you girls how it's done. First, picking out the right razor for you is very important. You want one that's comfortable and gives a long-lasting, smooth shave that helps protect against nicks and cuts, right? I tried the Venus Embrace razor and now it is definitely my go-to razor. This beauty essential has five blades, which may sound like a lot, but these curve-hugging blades adjust to the curves of your body. Now, before I get to actually showing you how to shave, keep in mind a few things. Contrary to what your friends may tell you, shaving does not make hair grow back faster, darker, or thicker. Your hair may just feel that way because the blunt edge it gets from being cut by the razor. And getting a smooth shave requires shave gel. Think about it this way. Do you wash your face and put on moisturizer or a primer before applying makeup? I sure do. Use a shave gel in warm water before shaving on clean skin. Hydrating your hair with warm water makes it so much easier to shave. So let's start with your legs. On clean skin, apply a thin layer of shave gel. Everyone always asks me what I use, and I use Gillette Satin Care Passionista Fruit Gel because it smells super duper good. The gel is super important because it helps track where I've shaved and what parts are still left. It's up to you if you want to stop at the knee or if you want to go higher like I do. Sometimes the hair above your knee is lighter. Then with your Venus Embrace razor, the blade facing down and starting down by your ankle, lightly press and begin shaving up towards your knee. You don't need to push down too hard. You'll notice the head pivots to help adjust to your curves and it keeps the razor cartridge flat to your skin. You'll miss fewer hairs that way. Feel free to wash off your blade under running water as you go. And don't worry about those tricky areas like your knees and ankles. Each Venus blade adjusts individually to stay in contact with your skin. If you look at a razor with two or three blades versus this one with five, you'll notice there's less space between the five blades. That's a good thing. The more blades means that you can get a closer shave and that you get more hair in a single stroke. It also prevents your skin from bulging up between the blades, which can help protect against nicks and cuts. Plus, it has a protective ribbon of moisture fully surrounding the blade for a smooth glide. And for those super rush mornings, I love to use the Venus on Olay 2-in-1 razor. I love this razor because it has built-in shave gel bars, so I don't need to worry about having shaving gel on hand. I can also throw this one in my bag for a sleepover or a weekend trip. When you're done shaving, use a rich moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated for that goddess glow. As for replacing those blades, you should change them when the blades begin to feel dull. What's great about Venus is the tublet, which helps avoid cutting yourself and keeps the blades dry and ready to use. See this little plastic tub where the cartridge comes in. You can place your handle inside and just click on the cartridge and it conveniently pulls right out. After you're done shaving, rinse your razor and store it with the blades facing up. This will allow for it to dry and be ready for your next shave. Any Venus cartridge fits in any of the Venus handles. So if you want to try out a different cartridge, you don't need to buy a whole new razor, just use the same handle. Unlike with disposable razors, you don't need to throw out the handle or pay for one every time. So there you have it. Remember, there's really no magical age to start shaving. Whether you're unsure or you feel like you're ready, make sure you talk to your mom, an older sister, or someone else you trust. Venus razors have been designed to give you a close shave. Enjoy your beautiful, smooth skin.